Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is episode 21 of our US series, one in which we'll get to find out 7 little known facts about every state and territory of the United States. If you wish to check out the rest of the episodes, click on the playlist appearing now. Also, don't forget to subscribe, I upload a brand new video every Wednesday and Saturday. But enough wasting your time, let's talk about Massachusetts. Massachusetts is an important landmark of American history. Plymouth, for instance, was the site of the first colony in New England. It was founded in 1620 by the Pilgrims, the same ones that, one year later, celebrated their first harvest together with 90 Native Americans and, in the process, gave birth to one of the most famous American holidays, Thanksgiving. Plymouth was also the second English successful colony in America after Jamestown, Virginia. Several decades later, in 1692, Massachusetts was also the location of one of history's most well-known mass hysteria, the Salem Witch Trials. Twenty people were then executed for supposedly being witches, five others, including two infants, died in prison. Boston, of course, is also known as the Cradle of Liberty, since it was here that the first notable acts of defiance against the British Crown took place, the most famous one being the dumping of an entire shipment of tea sent by the East India Company into the sea. Later, the first shots in the Revolutionary War were fired in Massachusetts. Talking about Boston, it's worth mentioning that it's one of the few famous American cities that's actually a capital city. Boston is one of the oldest cities in the United States, founded on the Shawmut Peninsula in 1630 by Puritan settlers from England. As I previously said, it was the scene of several key events of the American Revolution, such as the Boston Massacre, the Boston Tea Party, the Battle of Bunker Hill, and the Siege of Boston. Today, the city and its surroundings are home to some of the most renowned and highly ranked universities in the world, Harvard, MIT and Tufts. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The greater Boston area has more than 100 colleges and universities, with 250,000 students enrolled in Boston and Cambridge alone. So there is some serious brain power here. One more thing about Boston. Its name. Originally, the local Native Americans called the area Shawmut, but the colonists renamed it to Boston. Why? Because that's where most of them came from. That's right, there is a town in England that is the original city of Boston. As to the meaning of the name, it's a contraction of St. Botolf and Tun, which is the Old English, Old Norse and Modern Norwegian name for a hamlet or farm. Wanna know what else started in Massachusetts? Dunkin' Donuts. It all started with William Rosenberg in 1948, who opened his first restaurant and conceived of the idea for it. The idea was successful and Rosenberg sold franchises left and right. Today, the company is one of the largest of its kind in the world, with more than 12,000 restaurants in 36 countries and with an estimated revenue of close to $1 billion. And here's one more thing that came from Massachusetts. The first ever telephone call in history was made between inventor Alexander Graham Bell and his assistant Thomas Watson in 1876 in Boston. Bell spoke the words, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you into his device and Watson heard the message from the receiver in the next room. Bell was then the first person to be awarded a US patent for a device that produced clearly intelligible replication of the human voice. It goes without saying that the telephone went on to become absolutely indispensable and today we can't even imagine a world without it. The late 1800s Massachusetts was a hotbed of sports history. Basketball was invented in 1891 by a then 31-year-old professor called Dr. James Naismith. All he was trying to do was to keep his gym class active on a rainy day. He wrote down the rules of the game and used a peach basket for his first game. Another very popular sport invented in Massachusetts is Mintonette although you might know it by its current name, Volleyball. 
William J. Morgan, a YMCA professor, created the game as a pastime to be played indoors and by any number of players. Basketball was invented just 10 miles from Morgan, but it was too rough to be played by all the members of the YMCA. So he came up with the rules for the now ever so popular volleyball. It seems that I can't stop naming things that were invented in Massachusetts, but there are so many. Here are some other creations that are now widely spread throughout the world. The chocolate chip cookie was invented by Ruth Graves Wakefield in 1938, and contrary to popular belief, it was not an accidental invention. The frozen goods industry started with Clarence Birdseye in 1925, when he invented the double belt freezer, marking the beginning of this industry. Gregory Pincus and John Rock developed the first birth control pills in the 1950s. And even that famous lawn kitsch, the plastic pink flamingo was invented in Massachusetts by Don Featherstone in 1957. And this list could probably go on for some time, but I'll have to stop here. And since you watched the entire video, it would be a shame if you wouldn't give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments downstairs to let me know what your thoughts are. If you'd like to support this channel even more, you can become a patron. Click on the icon appearing now or find the link in the description to visit my Patreon page. I hope to see you next time. Bye.